And let's create a dimension style. So, D, enter. And we presume this will be plotted in scale 1 is to 2. Okay? So, let's create new again. And then, D dash 2. So, scale 1 is to 2. And then, continue. And then, again, let's uh, select the line. L let's leave it as is. And for the symbols and arrows, let's use again a close blank, including for the leader. And let's change the arrow head or size to 2 mm only. And then on the text, we haven't yet uh, created any text style. So let's uh, leave it first there. Let's go first to the fit tab. Okay. So fit tab. Our scale factor is 2, of course. So 2. And then click OK. Oh, by the way, let's go back there. So click on D2, then modify. Let's go back to uh, the fit tab. We need not to change this if we place our dimensions on the layout tab itself. Okay? And we will be talking about dimensions again when we go to plotting and paper space. But for the meantime, let's uh, use first this old method of mine using the fit tab to properly scale our dimensions. And by the way, we could also provide uh, in the primary units some suffix or prefix. So let's say for example, let's type uh, mm. Okay? Oh, it's more letters. So mm. So after the text, an mm will appear after the uh, numbers. So click OK. And then click on it. Oh, we forgot to modify it. To modify text and let's create a new text style for that. So new. And then 2mm-2. So 2mm text height for scale 1 is to 2. And then OK. And then let's change the text height to 2 times 2, of course, that's 4. And then apply. Then close. Then let's select 2mm. Okay. Then K. Okay. Then select and then set current. And then close. Now we are ready to dimension our door jump. So you could either type, so dim lean, or simply uh, select here. Okay, so dim lean, enter for linear. And by the way, for linear, let's uh, try to dimension this first. So origin, origin, and then, oh, we forgot also to change our layer. Well, anyway, uh, let's finish this first. Then let's select, then change it to dimension. And then escape, press escape. Make sure to press escape at least twice when uh, you want to set a layer current. So I want to set my dimension layer as current. So I make sure that I have nothing selected. Unless you want that uh, selected to be on that particular layer. So, But uh, it's a good practice to always press escape to change a current layer. So let's uh, select this one and it's already set as the current layer. And let's try this particular line, okay? We don't know what's the distance of this uh, diagonal line. So let's type dim lean again. Let's uh, practice typing. So enter. And then from this point and then this point, toggle off your F8. So off my F8 and no matter what you do you cannot align it there okay so let's uh, press escape and let's try to type dim only okay so dim enter and let's start from this point towards this point and there you could specify the dimension of that particular diagonal line so the dim command 
would automatically align your dimensions depending on the direction of your mouse. So let's type dim again. So enter. And then from this point towards this point. So it follows the direction of my cursor. And press escape first. And the quickest way to dimension, I repeat, is through the ribbon. So to access the dim command, you could simply click this icon on the annotation panel. So click this icon and we invoke AutoCAD to do the dim command. So let's try to dimension this line from this point to this point and take note of the direction of my cursor. When I drag my cursor diagonally, the dimension line is also diagonal and it is aligned to the diagonal line being dimensioned. And when I drag my cursor towards the south or north direction, it provides us a linear horizontal dimension. And the same is true with the east or west direction. It provides us a linear vertical dimension. So in architecture, this is our BFF of the family of dimensions. So never forget dim or just click this icon. So just press escape, cancel the command. And this time, let's try to choose baseline or continued dimensions, which is sadly not here. Let's go to annotate. So we have here continued dimension or baseline. Okay. So let's uh, choose continued. Okay. So click this one. So it continues. Let's skip first. Okay. So that you could see it. So let's click on this and it uh, starts from that origin okay from the last uh, dimension that you created so you could just uh, dimension it there then here then here again then there just press enter so that's continued dimension Another here is the baseline. Let's try the baseline this time. Okay. So again, it starts from the last point that we created. So let's select. Okay. So let's uh, choose select. And then select base dimension. So click this one. And there your dimension starts with the first origin of that particular extension line. So the next thing to do now is to select the second extension line origin so let's click this one then there is our uh, second dimension and this is too close to the other dimensions so we have to adjust so we click and then let's adjust the extension lines and maybe at that particular location let's try the other types of uh, dimensions this time let's choose angular okay so click here and then select angular and let's try to dimension this let's see the angle okay so let's select this line and then this line then we could dimension it uh, such but we are just demonstrating the different types of dimensions you could uh, move this later if you want and then of course we need also radius so let's try radius then let's select this one select the arc and specify the dimension location let's just place it there oops as such and there are a lot more that you could do with the dimensions okay so there are different types of dimension lines so try to experiment on them and Improve the mentioning of your door jump. For the meantime, let's just select this, including the other lines, and then join them. So, okay, enter. And let's copy this. So, 
co enter and make sure your f8 is toggled on and then maybe here okay now let's try to create a uh, door for this particular door jump okay so zoom out a little and pan and let's create a rectangle REC enter so let's uh, click here as our uh, first corner and then let's type uh, 50 for its thickness comma and then 900 for its width so that's our door so let's go to LA enter and then let's create a new layer and let's type door lift okay and let's make use of point one so let's choose red okay so door lift it's continuous it's okay so let's just close it or let's make it a uh, current first by double clicking then close so select this one and then on the home tab under layers panel let's select door lift then escape so let's create a door swing for this so since this is 90 let's try to mirror this one later on oh, to the other side so let's uh, create an arc so a for arc oh, by the way escape first you have a lot of uh, ways to create the uh, arc so the initial is three point arc and you have different ways of starting your arc and for me i use this normally three point or the center then start end or similarly with uh, start center end so any of these three i usually use but it depends on your situation okay you could either choose any of these methods to suit your uh, situation so for the meantime, let's uh, set it to center, start, end. Okay. So let's click on the center. Of course, here on the pivot where the hinge will be located. So click. And then specify start point. Take note that angles in AutoCAD are measured in the counterclockwise orientation. That, but let's try this. Okay. So click here as our start point and again of course the uh, circle or arc is created counterclockwise so let's just press control again okay so control and then just click in this direction so uh, while holding the control key click and then there's our door swing and then let's just create a uh, line enter from this point towards this point to use it as our uh, mirror reference point so select this one then mirror mi enter from the midpoint of this make sure your auto is toggled on and then click towards the south do you want to erase the source no of course okay and then just delete that guideline so erase and there we have a door jump with a door lift with a door swing again don't forget to be a superhero so control s to quickly save our drawing 